Thanks for checking out this video. For this video, I'm uh, out this morning on Jersey South Coast. I'm going to be looking to do a little bit of bass fishing on the Laws this morning uh, around Elizabeth Castle. I've just finished my 12 hour night shift, and uh, after checking the weather and seeing that it's going to be pretty flat out here today, I thought I'm not going to waste this opportunity when we've got some, uh, some bad weather on the way, which is due uh, probably in the next two days bit of wind and uh, swell to pick up so I thought I'd make the most of it even though I'm a little bit goose from the uh, from the 12 hour night shift so yeah just paddling out there now with the uh, aid of the Bixby to get out their best speed and then hopefully find a couple of fish around the back of the uh, castle uh, on, on the surface laws and maybe some, uh, some soft plastics so uh, that's the plan anyway gonna see how it goes uh, hopefully find you guys some fish and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. There's another guy fishing on his boat the other side of the reefs there. Trying to stay out his way. He's in a good spot there. A little bit of swell here, which is ideal. And uh, those reefs there, renowned for a bit of swell. But I like it just in and around these ones here. Just here. It's nice. Ideal sort of ground. Just got to make sure that we watch our drift on this session. Make sure we don't end up on top of a reef. So guys, I'm going to start off with the uh, Exorus Frosty surface law. I'm going to start off with that. I'm just going to be chucking it at those reefs that are just in front of me there. Set the drag a bit tighter than that. Should be okay. Now it's quite a small tide today, so we shouldn't be moving too, too much. But at the same time, there might not be that many fish around with it being a small tide but you never know the water's got a bit of a tinge to it again which it's not favorable but it's just one of them things at the moment had some bad weather recently so that's probably why there's a little reef just uncovering there i wonder if i swing the bixby the kayak round just over this bit here to the side guys see if I can get one there right on top of that reef oh perfect try and keep the kayak pointing in this direction for a minute Sometimes when it's uh, when it's really flat like this, I like the uh, the frosty. But if it's not enough, then I'll put on sight slightly bigger just to give a bit more splash. See if I can entice a bite. Sight like a one two five. Just go up in size and just see. I'm pretty sure I had to swipe at it before. I did feel a bit of a tug at the rod tip. We're in 15 foot of water, so it's ideal exactly where we are here. Oh, 
Right, seems pretty quiet on the top water. I will keep it on just for now. But when I get round the corner, I might just put on a scary zeal or something. A nice sandy or softy that I can just run quite shallow in and amongst the rocks. So just going to move round slightly, guys. See what we can uh, pick up closer to the reefs. Scary's eel. Let's try this. Nice and easy cast out retrieving. Just got to watch some of these waves. Don't want to get caught right up in the mix. I need to move forward a bit. Let's move forward a tad. On the old Bixby. Maybe try the other side of these reefs. Get out of this way. shallow there water's really murky really murky this morning guys the water so maybe something quite noisy like a uh, tackle house feed shallow the shallow ground something quite noisy do the trick this looks quite nice here just off the back here see if i can get the scaries out that way Stuff. We're gonna have to go in, get this out. But I find if I get the law stuck, nine times out of ten, if I go past it the other way, the which it's just came, like this, and just flick, and out it comes. And I only know that because I get snagged so often. <laughs> try the feed shallow what's this the 105 yeah 105 this has got to work dirty water fairly clear law but it's so noisy so it's going to wind anything up that's out there <sighs> cast like a bullet as well this thing cast further with this one than the uh 128 how are we not getting a fish i've just chucked like a couple of different lures there guys not even a sniff yet and it looks so fishy but yeah uh gonna just go around do that that trip again i'm gonna stay with the uh feed shallow for now i'm just gonna move back around to where i was before and hopefully get something this time a little bit disappointed i thought that there might be a fish straight away out here but 
that water, like I was saying, it's, it's got that green tinge to it. It does look good at the back of these reefs, though. I have to say. Just off the back here. Maybe chucking towards that. Just a couple of casts, because I can get this lure right in there. Alright, after this, the uh, tired minnow is going to go on, I think. Got a nice little uh, sardine looking pattern to try out that I bought the other day. Be rude not to give that a chuck. Come up slightly, in that channel there looks good. Let's give that a chuck. That looks really good, in there. I don't want to get this snagged though. It is really shallow there. Oh my God, it's really shallow. And that tide is pulling. I'm getting washed on with these waves coming through. I'm just gonna move out of the way, guys. Stuck in a whoa! Look at this. Look at that. Almost, almost got me. Getting sucked right into the rocks. Let's go and see if we can get across the causeway yet. I think it's going to be very close. I don't think we'll get there just yet. There might be some fish moving up in the shallows. You never know. Let's go and have a little mooch. Check out the other side of the castle. Flat as a pancake. <coughs> oh, you'll have to excuse my cough. I've got, once again, another virus. Seems to be more time spending ill than actually feeling 100% at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna go frosty, because it's so flat. Come on. Now, if I don't get any takes in here, I'll be surprised. If I do get any takes in here, the chances are they're not going to be net worthy fish, but they may just save the blank. And it looks too good to pass up this opportunity. Look at the finder there. Five foot. Five foot. On the flooding tide, there has to be a fish in here. Yes, there is. There we go, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Not a big one. Well, I don't know. No, he's not big. But that could well be the blank saver. Hey. Now, he's certainly not a net worthy fish, but with this scenery this morning <laughs> and catching absolutely nothing on them, uh, on them reefs around the corner, this certainly makes the morning worthwhile. Nice little bass on the top water and I was adamant I was going to get one. First chuck in this little sort of lagoonish looking area because it's absolutely flat and it does look like a lagoon. What are we in? Six foot of water. Got that little bugger. Let's get him off. Off you go, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. Let's go in here.
Could that have been a fluky fish? Could that have been a fluky fish? The Bixby might take a little bit of a knock. Oh yeah, look at that, that's shallow. I might up the Bixby. Just to get through this passage. Get through this little passage of reef. This is going to be shallow here, guys. Really shallow. Whoa, look at that. Really shallow. One foot, if that. If that. But this is where the fish are going to be in and around here. Oh. Right, I'm glad I came this way because it's quite nice around here. don't think I have the uh, Pachinko 100 with me. Oh, there was a fish behind it. Go on, is he going to take it? Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I just stopped the law pretty much. <laughs> there we go. Another little one. Oh, I knew there was something following it. There we go. Oh, he's off. Perfect. Quick release. Oh, that was good. So, little Pachinko 100. Let's try this. Guys, I'm going to uh, call it a day there. I'm going to head in. That was uh, just a quick session around Elizabeth Castle, um, just doing like one lap round um, on the flooding tide and just coming over that causeway. Uh, just before then, there seemed to be a couple of fish in that really shallow area, so managed to pick a couple of them off on the uh, on the surface. Or not big fish by any standards whatsoever, but um, yeah, saved the blank and a uh, little bit of top water action and uh, a little bit of good fun there. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would be much appreciated. Until the next trip out on the kayak, tight lines, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.